if you've got enough people uh, who want to shut a factory down, uh, you can shut it down. Uh, and uh, especially when it's a weapons company that is, whose industry is only based on, on, on death and destruction. During the bombing of Gaza in 2014, some London friends of mine called me and asked me, because they knew me that I'd been in Palestine, to do an action at an Albit factory in Shenstone, Staffordshire, um, where we're on the roof for three days. We closed it for three days. And this is during the bombing of Gaza 2014, where they killed over 2,200 people, including over 500 children in 51 days, including two of my students, one of which was killed while I was on that roof doing that protest. So this is the real connect, if you like, of these weapons companies. I think our first um, action here was just a normal demonstration in 2016, and that's what really began the Oldham uh, push. It felt like we needed to, A, let people know what was going on, and B, come together to do things through the politicians, through local people, or people in Oldham, and to keep coming down here and letting Elbit here know that we actually didn't want it in Oldham. Elbit out of old and became our slogan. Two, three, four, Elbit out of old and echoed all around. Broken glass and blood red paint spattered on the ground. And flags and banners fly as the sun is going down. We raise the glass. Farewell, Selvitz leaving town. The people came from miles around in the rain and sunshine. The Loki singing on a flatbed truck, free, free Palestine. Brave heroes climbed upon the roof as the red smoke swirled around. From Green Acres to Tel Aviv, Elvis leaving town. Yeah, Elvis out of old. Since the bombardments back at the beginning of May this year, feeling was strong amongst many of us peace activists and members of the community who joined us in big numbers. And that's why every week, we, as we gathered, people took the road. The best thing about this was we had so many people queuing up to stand outside. Not only were we willing to take the road, and this is young families, some beautiful people, young sisters that came and spoke so passionately about Palestine that had never spoken before on the microphone. Shame on Elbit. Shame. You bring shame to our town. You bring shame to our country. We will not let you get away with this. We will keep coming. We will keep shaming you until you open your eyes and realize that what you are doing is absolutely horrific. Until you pack your bags and leave innocent people alone, we will not stop coming. Thank you. We're here today um, protesting about this factory here, which is literally making drone parts and weapons to kill Palestinians, literally on my own ground. This is in our hometown of Oldham. Yeah, yeah. We won't stand for it anymore. We want this factory shut down completely out of our town. It's an absolute disgrace. Elbit so far has not had a single conviction. There's been about 70, 100 actions on Elbit altogether in the last few years, and yet not one conviction because it, it has so far either never got to trial or just recently they even lost a few. And it's never got to trial because we always come with a shopping list as to what it is that you're doing. We want to know exactly, because that's our argument. This is a wider political issue here at hand. And we're trying to stop the greater crime, which is, of course, mass murder of civilians and a military occupation and apartheid. This is what's happening in Palestine. This is what Israel's doing to Palestine. Get out of the ropes! Elbit is going to close! Let's hope!
Make it close as soon as possible. Brick by brick. Brick by brick. Rule by rule. Rule by rule. Our big factories go too far. Our big factories go too far. Just here we had the rapper Loki perform um, and while he was performing there was huge crowds outside he was singing Free Free Palestine, Free Free Gaza while some people suddenly emerged on the roof of the factory I'd like to thank all the crews that came from out of town, Oldham, Bolton, the choirs that came from Sheffield, Liverpool, uh, Halifax, the, the crew from Halifax. Yeah. Yeah. Also really want to thank the Oldham community who really put momentum behind this. So thank you for everyone from Oldham. You've done a wonderful, wonderful job and Elvis out of Oldham. What can we say? One day there will be a shift. We will stop wasting all this ridiculous money and skills and effort. It just think what we could do if we came together with all of that for other things, pandemics, poverty, and just stop what's going on around wars and people thinking that by amassing troops on bloody borders looking at each other that they're going to answer anything that actually means anything other than to the profits of big companies across the world. Most importantly for me, uh, my friends in Gaza uh, were, were so over the moon and when they're so isolated, under siege, under the bombs, when they hear that people have taken this endeavour to stop some of the weaponry being built that was you know, massacring them in Gaza, they really were over the moon and to have that lift from them was, was the biggest deal for me. 